Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to all. Um, I'm starting my pepper seeds this. I started them a couple of days ago. My scotch bonnet seeds, that's all I'm planting right now. At least I'm sowing the seeds so they can spring soon. And those are some of the scotch bonnet peppers that I took a picture of uh, earlier this year. So this year I'm using what is called rock wool. These um, spongy things, you can buy them. I bought these on eBay. And this is the two by two. And sometimes you buy the one, it's kind of small, or the one and a half. One and a half is good, but I bought the two. And they generally come with a little hole in the middle, but I am putting five holes in all. So I add my different holes. And sometimes the hole is not in the center. It's all center, as you can see with some of them. So I take that little um, tool and I pour a hole in them and I'm putting five in each. So when they grow, I'll cut, cut the rock wool and, you know, plant each one separate, separately. So that's, um, that's what I'm doing here, just making my holes. And, um, and you have to wet it and it takes a lot of water. It's in a tray, one of those uh, black trays. So I, you gotta soak them with water before you put anything in them. They gotta be soaked. So I'm putting water in them right here putting water on them, then I leave them for a little bit. So when I think they're well soaked, I start putting the seeds in, you know? So there, there it is. So sometimes I use my finger to put the seeds in. And you can take off or leave the paper on, you know? It doesn't matter, but the paper is gonna melt off soon anyway. But um, these are called Grodon, G-R-O-D-A-N, Rockwell. They have all kinds, and some of them are just melt away too easily. These are firm, and I like them. Ordered them a couple of years ago, and I've been using them. So when I when I do this, I put the seeds near the hole, and not necessarily push them down in there. Some of them end up dropping in there anyway. But I put the seeds because I want to know which hole, because there are times I put two, three seeds in one hole, and um, not realize that I'm putting you know a lot of seeds in one hole. So. Put, um, so, you know, I take the tool and try to push them in there. Sometimes the seed come right back up on the tool. Would you believe that? So then, you know, you, you know, put it, put it, and sometimes it don't come off. Use my finger. My fingers are too big. <laughs> so anyway, you know, I use, um, use the tool and I finally, you know, put all of them in there. Make sure everything is soaking wet. And even sometimes you think this rock wool is wet. It's not. I have used it many times before, especially for hydroponic, but... To this time, I'm just starting the seeds in it, and uh, um, in the end, I cover it. So anyway, that's what I'm doing here, trying to get them, fighting with them to get them down in the hole, because you want them to stay wet. You don't want them to be above, you know, so you got to stick them down in there so they stay wet, and you don't want water under the bottom. You just want the rock hole to be wet, not, not water under the bottom of the thing, because they could rot too. The seeds can rot. Okay, so, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing here. See, that one came right back up. <laughs> that one came right back up and it had to be sticking, sticking, sticking it. Yeah, so that, that, that's, that's what I'm doing this year. And I started my seeds on the 15th. So, um, what's today? 15th or the 16th. I think it was the 16th. So I'm figuring 10, 12 days I should see, you know. Um, and then I wrap it, you see. I use this wrap that I have. Bought all of these on, on Amazon. And I use a wrap and wrap it over because you want to keep it warm. And I have it up in my bedroom. And this year I bought a shelf that I'm going to use, a four, four-tier shelf, metal shelf, that I'm going to put all my, um, my plants on. Well, most of them in the house anyway before they go outside. When I say this year, I mean next year. Sorry. In 2023. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Happy New Year. And have a good Christmas. Have a great Christmas. You and your family. Bye.